Lincoln. It's Sunday. I wish we could all be together at church, but um, even when we're not all together, God's love still connects us and we're all part of the same body. So uh, we're going to hear our stories today. Um, but before we do, let's light a candle. And we're in a different place today and we have a different candle. Let's light it. There we go. And today is the fifth Sunday in Advent. And so we can change our calendar. We don't have our leader one and leader two here, but we could still say our collect prayer together. I wonder if you remember it without even looking at it. It goes, dear God, you hold out blessings as big as creation. Open our ears, our minds, and our hearts today to receive them. Amen. In the beginning, the baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. And the word was born a wordless child. When the baby looked up into the face of Mother Mary, he already saw the cross. When he looked into the face of Father Joseph, the cross was there too. Mother Mary and Father Joseph held the baby close. They kept the baby warm. They gave the baby everything it needed to grow. And the baby began to grow. The baby grew and became a boy. When he was about 12 years old, he went with Mother Mary and Father Joseph and with many other people from their village of Nazareth to the great city of Jerusalem to keep one of the high holy days. When the celebration was over, <coughs> the people from Nazareth went out through the great high gate and started on the road toward home. Suddenly, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus wasn't there. They thought he'd been playing with the other children. They hurried back into the great city of Jerusalem to find him. They looked through the streets. They looked in the marketplace where they had bought their food. They looked where they'd spent the night. They looked everywhere. Finally, they looked in the temple, and there he was. He was talking to the rabbis and the priests. When he spoke, they listened, because he knew so much. When they spoke, he listened, because he wanted to learn more. Mary and Joseph then asked Jesus a question that all parents ask their children. Why did you do this? And Jesus said something very strange. He said, didn't you know I'd be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand. Their house was in Nazareth where Joseph's, Joseph's, Mary and Joseph did not understand. Their house was in Nazareth where Joseph's carpenter shop was. They didn't understand, but they did not forget. Jesus grew and became a man. When he was about 30 years old, he went to the River Jordan where his cousin John was baptizing people. Jesus waded into the river until he was face to face with John. He said, baptize me. John looked at Jesus and for the first time saw who he really was. How can I baptize you? You're the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for. You must baptize me. No, said Jesus, it is written that you will come before me and prepare the way. You must baptize me. Jesus went down into the darkness and the chaos of the water, and when John lifted him back into the light, there were people there who said they saw a dove come down from heaven and come close to him. And there were people there who heard a voice. The voice said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went, across the River Jordan into the desert. He stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights to learn more about what his work was going to be. One day he heard a voice. Why don't you turn these stones over there into bread? 
and have something to eat. And Jesus said, no, to be a real human being, we need more than bread to eat. Suddenly, it was as if Jesus were on top of the great temple in Jerusalem. The voice came back, if you are really the son of God, why don't you jump and see if God sends the angels to catch you before you hit the stones below? And Jesus said, no, we don't need to test God. Then it was as if Jesus could see all the kingdoms of the world. The voice came back again. If you will follow me, I will make you king over all these kingdoms. Jesus said, no, I am to be a king, but not that kind of king. Then the voice went away. Jesus went back across the Jordan, out of the desert, to do his work. But what was his work? His work was to come close to people, especially the people no one else wanted to come close to. Jesus traveled about the land with the 12. He was teaching and showing people how to be real human beings. As he taught, people came to him to be healed. If they were hurt or sick or upset in some way, they sensed that Jesus could help them be well. See, he's come close to the blind man in the picture. He's even touching the blind man's eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they changed. They could see things they never saw before. They could do things they never did before. But that wasn't all Jesus did. Jesus also told parables. Finally, he knew that he had to become a parable. So he and the 12 turned toward Jerusalem for the last time. <laughs>